Okay, how do I want to start this? I don't want to be like one of those people that's like, hey guys, it's Raya's channel. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I can't do it. I hate it. I hate, it. I hate everything. I Maybe we can just film that part later. <laughs> okay, let's just get to it. Okay, so what we're talking about today, we're talking about performing. I perform at Universal Orlando. I am a seasonal performer and a dancer there. And. Hey, so I perform at Magic Kingdom with Disney, um, and I'm a Dapper Dan. Oh, by the way, this is Matt. He's my roommate. Hello. Love my life. <laughs> okay, so what is your favorite guest experience and why? My, fav my favorite guest experience is uh, what we call making magic. One in particular, I don't know if I told you this. Um, a few months ago, we got an email saying uh, there was a music teacher who wanted to sing Lighter Rose with us for Music Man. But the main reason why is because she survived breast cancer. And um, that, that was one of her wishes. And her husband arranged the whole thing without her knowing. We go and she's like, oh, hello, Dapper Dance, you know, not knowing anything. And we, we said, hey, so we heard that you wanted to ring the bell on the fire truck. So um, we're gonna bring the fire truck out right now. She rang the bell and signified that she beat breast cancer, and uh, she was so she was just so overcome with emotion she couldn't <laughs> oh sing with us. So um, we still sang for her, and uh, she recorded it. We we heard her singing a little bit behind the camera, and um, that's honestly one of like the standout moments. So my favorite guest experience, experience. Wow, I can't talk. <laughs> um, Probably was during Halloween Horror Nights. I definitely told you this story. Uh -huh. I definitely told you this story. So during Halloween Horror Nights, um, there was this little kid who walked into our zone, and it was me and Ben and I, maybe Sophia and Mackenzie. Um, we were down at the end of the street near the school bus. There were parents and this little girl, and she was just she was terrified. Yes. She was yeah. absolutely awfully terrified. If you've never been to Horror Nights, it's terrifying. Okay. It really is terrifying. Um, I was in the perch scare zone and so we had like masks on and we were we were told to you know not really take them off right we walked to the end we were scared we scared her parents and then she started crying so me and Ben got down on her level we took our masks off and we started talking to her she was so scared of us she was like I don't want you to touch me I don't want you to touch me and I'm like hey listen I'm a human like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna hurt you and she was like you're not and I was like no and I was like we're gonna protect you from the perch okay I'm like we don't hurt kids we only hurt bad people and she was like okay and so me and Ben took her we kind of like she and it was Mackenzie Mackenzie was there I remember because I remember the mask anyways we took her down to the opposite end of the street and kind of blocked her the whole way so she was fine um, when we got to the end though she was like I don't want to leave she was like I want to hang out with you guys tonight and we were like we have to go scare people honey <laughs> and she, she was so sweet and so cute and gave me and Ben like so many hugs it was adorable and my next set when I was out was on the wood chipper stage. I looked over and her mom was there and she came up and she was like, I just wanted to say like, my daughter is never gonna forget this experience. She's so happy. She's like, she wants, all she wants to do is come hang out in the purge now. She's like, I'm seriously like, this is the best theme park experience I've ever had. And yes. I was just like, and I was wearing my mask and I'm so glad I was because you know, tears streaming <laughs> because that's what I do. I just, I cry all the time. So I was just, I was just bawling. Okay. Next question. This mm -hmm. is a funny one. What is the, <laughs> what is the funniest experience you've had on set with a guest? Something that does make me chuckle. I get this question a lot and it's, how do you sync up your chimes with the recordings? When I first got this question, I was kind of, uh, I guess, baffled. Like, how, like, how did they not realize? I was like, I'm sorry. I'm just, sorry, say that again? And they were like, your chimes, you know, those those are fake, right? Girl. Oh, honey. It was like, no. Oh, honey. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm actually we're freaking all playing. We're all four of us playing chimes. And there's no recording. Yeah, so that's... One of the honestly, that's one of the questions that just it makes me chuckle. What about you? Like, okay, uh, <laughs> mine's like, okay, this is a dumb question. This actually happened to me while I was still at Starbucks. This is the thing that I think has made really made me sit back and think, like, 
does this person pay attention to social cues? Does this person pay attention to pop culture? I'm handing out drinks, right? I hand out a drink to this lady and she came in and she took her drink and she looked me dead in the face and said, where's Mickey Mouse's meet and greet? And I had to take a step back because I was like, <laughs> oh, she's serious. I was like, well, you're at Universal Orlando. Universal has no affiliation with Disney World. And Mickey Mouse is at Disney World. However, Mickey Mouse, I'm sure, does meet and greets at Disney World if you go there. Because a lot of people go to both parks when they come to Orlando. Mm. And she said, no, we bought this ticket because Mickey Mouse is here. I was like, no. No. Poor thing. This, and then, oh, and then, here's this is my favorite part. She said, <laughs> Doesn't he do mean groups in front of the castle? Honey. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. It kills me every time because I literally was like, do you not get it? And she's like, yeah, there's a castle in the other part. I'm like, that's Hogwarts. That's Harry Potter. That has no, that's literal freaking witchcraft and wizardry. It has nothing to do with Mickey Mouse. Good that times. I have a lot of great Starbucks stories. Starbucks is a time, a time to be alive, man. Okay, next question. Mm. What steps did you have to take to become a Dapper Dan? I'm trying to give you the quick version, because I, 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 I could talk, if you haven't picked up on that already. So I originally auditioned two years now. Oh my gosh, two, two years. years? Two years ago. Um, I originally auditioned for Voices of Liberty Candlelight Procession, and then I went to Upta. So for those of you who are professional actors, and looking to get into regional theater, UPTA, which is the Unifi Unified Professional Theater Auditions, get it, it's in Memphis, it is amazing, you'll make so many connections there. I went to UPTA and Disney was there, and I uh, got a call back from them and they said, hey, you should consider auditioning for Dapper Dance. By, by chance, saw that they were having auditions in, having auditions in Baltimore, which is right down the road from DC. Yeah, very close. I went. Um, did the audition, got, got the call back, did the call back, and I also met a few Symphonians there too. Hey guys. Um, Share and like this video and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't mind, you would just subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Good night. Okay. And then a month later, I got the phone call to um, move down. down here. And then he met me, and now we live together, and it's a fun time. What about you though? Because. I know that you finished school. Mine's a long fucking story. I finished school in May of 2016 <laughs> and I took the summer off, did some auditions, on a whim decided to come to Orlando for a couple weeks. Came down, I did about 16 auditions in three weeks, got no's for all of them. The thing told me like you should be here mm -hmm. and it was an easy move because I did, I did have family down here. So, I did it. I called my mom and I said, Mom, I'm moving. I'm moving to Orlando. And she cried a lot. That's where I get it from. Thanks, Mom. The next weekend, I drove back up, mm -hmm. packed up my car, drove back down, and the rest is history. Now I live here. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started working at Starbucks at Universal because I didn't quite understand the whole, like, and also there was some miscommunication. Uh -huh. I was trying to get park perks while I was still auditioning. So I thought, oh, I can just work at Starbucks. But for those of you who don't know, when you start at Universal, you have to be in your same position for at least six months before you can transfer audition or interview into other positions. Yep. So I started at Starbucks in late, late August, which put me not starting, not getting to my six month mark until late, late January. Now, all the auditions that happen are at the beginning of January. Mm. So I was at Starbucks for almost a year until May. May is when I went to the Halloween Horror Nights audition mm -hmm. and that was the first time that I heard a yes from Universal and it was just like the best thing ever. Like I just, I remember calling my mom just crying. For those of you who are going, but it's still Horror Nights, it's actually really fun on it's top legit. of- On top of you, like, and this is me seeing it from the outside. Um, you get to make so many friends there. I made a lot of friends in The Verge. 
and it's just it's fun so my do. some of my best friends came out of that experience so and you know you really bond with people when you spend you know 5 p.m to 2 a.m with them every day <laughs> basically every day for two months mm -hmm. and then it's over and you're like um, I remember the first night of rehearsals on the street where they like they were like, "Here's a knife, go run around," and I was like, "Woo!" Like, <laughs> if you want, you can go on Redbubble. I'll put the link down below. <laughs> There's T-shirts with my face on it. <laughs> it they're awesome. They're genuinely awesome. It's so cool. Kelsey comment uh, like posted on my page. She was like, "Just so you know, your face is on a shirt on Redbubble," and I was like, "What?" And it was like one of the HHN fan pages like made a shirt with my face on it. I just genuinely hope that I show up at Horror Nights and mm -hmm. somebody wears the shirt next year. I will literally like break down in tears. If, I, if I'm working the event, if I'm not working the event, if I'm in a house, if I'm on a street, if I'm an actor, hey, I don't give a crap. If I see you wearing that shirt, I'm ripping off what's ever on my face and saying, that's me! Anyways, moving on. The next day, the literal next day, I went to the Holiday Parade audition. I did the animated audition first, and then I did the dancer audition. Four long months later, I finally heard a yes that I got mm, holiday grade. Yeah. At that point in time, I was let go from, not let go, but tr officially transferred from food and beverage into seasonal entertainment at Universal. Then, <laughs> I had the pleasure of hanging out with this guy <laughs> for holiday parade. King Julian sat on his throne and danced a lot with his fellow lemurs and poinsettias and just really made a family with those people. Hopefully I'll be able to reunite with him soon. Reunited and it feels so good. So <laughs> in January, I went to a the Superstar Parade audition. Mm -hmm. I did the dancer audition first, then did the animated audition. Uh, made it all the way through both. Waited for what felt like forever. Um, I was driving home from work because I also work at Disney Springs. My phone went ding ding, and I was like, oh, what's it? And then I saw, all I saw at the top was congratulations. And I literally didn't read anything else, and I just burst it into tears. Like, I hadn't even read the email yet. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the Superstar Parade and dancing in the Secret Life of Pets unit. So I start rehearsals in Hold Place. Next week? Hold Place. I'm bringing up my countdown calendar app. 12 days, 22 hours, and four minutes. Exactly until my first day. So for those of you who uh, follow along with Rhea, um, try and be there on her opening day because I will try, please. Because she's gonna be crying all the time. <laughs> if you can make it to my debut day, honestly, love ya. You're amazing. If you're not working and you can make it, that would be so cool. I'm just, I'm really proud of how far I've come. It's, be. it's been a long road, you know, going from being like a Starbucks barista to like living my dream. I like performing. I like performing. I like performing. <laughs> We're eating cookies now. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'm going to put all of his socials below, put all my socials below, make sure you follow us. Um, oh my gosh, I just did this. Oh, I feel like such a YouTuber now. I'm gonna try to put out new videos every Friday. Uh, doesn't mean that that's not gonna turn into a Saturday every now and then, because it probably will, because I know myself. So, yeah. Let me know if you want Matt to come back, or if you want me to just avoid him at all costs. I, I mean, I too. live with her, so you can't really avoid Matt. I can. Talk to you next week. We're gonna do something a lot more fun. Um, it's St. Coney and Baby, though. I'm equity. <laughs> Oh, oh, goodbye, goodbye my Coney Island, Island baby. Goodbye, my one true love. I'm gonna go away and leave you. Never gonna see you anymore. Never gonna see you anymore. I'm gonna step on that sailboat. I don't know where. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, ready? I'm equity. <laughs>